Huh? Now it's time to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Now it's time to say hello. Hello, everyone. Now it's time to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Now it's time to say hello. Hello, everyone. All right. Hi, everybody. And it is time to say hello to Miss Sticky. Oh, yay. Oh, I think I've hit that uh, two o'clock wall. Something old people talk about. But so I have a new story for you that I have never read before. I don't think I've even opened it yet. And it's called Have a Ball. But first, we're going to learn a vocabulary word. And today's vocabulary word is volleyball. And a volleyball is a large ball that's hit back and forth over a net in a game called volleyball. <laughs> it's a very difficult sport, I think. But some people like to play it. And they're actually really good at it. I think Miss Sydney told me she likes to play. Oh. Or, well, she did when she was in like high school. But most of the time you hit the ball with your fingers. Or you hit it with your forearms right here. I think it's a hard game. But it's even so fun there's a professional. There's professional tournaments for it. So that's pretty neat. Maybe you guys will get into it. So the book I have today is called Have a Ball. Now, I believe from what I know that this does not have an illustrator because it's all pictures. But the author is Nancy Noel Williams. So here we go. Let's see. What is a ball? You might think that balls are smooth and round, but there are many different kinds of balls. Let's turn the pages to read all about them. What are balls made of? A ball may be rubber of plastic. It may be made of metal or glass. Balls can be soft and fluffy. And they can even be made of food. Ooh, that sounds cool. What is inside a ball? Basketball, soccer balls, and beach balls have air inside. They're hollow. Baseballs, marbles, and bowling balls have no space for air inside. That's called solid. What can you do with a ball? Oh my, this is going to be a long list. You can make a ball bounce and roll. You can throw or kick a ball. You could toss it up high and catch it. You can run with a ball. You could try to juggle, juggle some balls. You can even toss a ball and let your dog bring it back for you. Which balls bounce, do you think? Beach balls bounce over sand. Soccer balls bounce on the grass and into the net. Bounce that volleyball over the net. Up, down, up, down. Bounce balls like to dance. Ooh, we heard the word volleyball. I remember. Which balls are big and heavy? Hmm. Roll a bowling ball with all your might. It is heavy. A cannonball can be big or little, but it's always heavy. Which balls are little? Which balls are light? Golf balls. Those aren't very light if you've ever been hit by one. Marbles and golf balls are solid little balls. Ping pong balls are hollow little balls. You can play hard with them. Put a cotton ball in your hand. It's soft and light. But which balls can you eat? Now we're getting to the good questions here. When you want a round snack, have a melon ball or an orange. Try a cheese ball or a popcorn ball. Still hungry? Have a meatball or a matzo ball. What balls are used in sports? We can kick big soccer balls. We can hit baseballs, tennis balls, golf balls, and ping pong balls. We can play croquet too. Footballs are kind of different. They've got pointy ends. We love to play sports with balls. Which balls are used in work? Hmm. 
Little balls have tiny, have jobs in tiny places. You might find them inside your ballpoint pen. Wrecking balls are big and heavy. They crush things. They crush it. Round and round goes the ball. It can bounce or roll or fly in the air. You can hit it, push it, kick it, or catch it. Time to play or time to work is always time to have a ball. Ta-da! That sounded fun. Anybody, what do you think your favorite ball is out of all the ones that we've listed? Mine's probably the melon ball. Because I love melons. Cantaloupe, watermelon, honeydew. So that brings us to our question of the day. Does anybody remember what's inside a basketball? Um, I do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, well, today I think we're going to do 25. Oh, Miss Cindy just keeps making the numbers go higher and higher. 25 toe touches today. So, hmm. Let's see. I'm not sure if you want to see my feet or my head. Here, I'll just turn it down this way a little bit. Ready? Here we go. Stand up straight, put your arms up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh, too fast, eight, nine, 10. All right, now I'm going to move it so you can see what I was doing with my arms. You can see how I was doing this. All right, ready? So, my headband's falling off. I'm going to need that later. Probably sweat. All right, we were at 10. 11. 12. 13. 14, 16, wait, uh, 17, I think I forgot a number in there, 18, 19, almost done, 20, all right, watch me this way, 21, almost there, 22, 23, 24 and 25. All right, bring it up nice and slow. Oh, stretch it out, friends. Stretch it out. Oh, that's a good workout for the shoulders. Well, I think that's everything on our list today. I better get my headband. My goodness. <sighs> All right, I'll get the goodbye song going while I put my headband back on. Ready? Sing along. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. It's the time, time to go. Bye, goodbye. Then want to go. Oh, okay, let's see. see you later, alligator. Bye, 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 butterfly. Goodbye. All right, friends. Well, that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.